these pictures are no less than a stain on the image of a changing and developing India. From big cities to rural areas, disposal of garbage remains a big problem. Every year, 62 million tons of waste is generated in our country, where due to improper use of waste generated from industries, domestic work and agriculture, etc., it turns into garbage dumps and causes pollution. Till a few years ago, the waste picked up from the cities was thrown openly at the dumping grounds away from the population outside the city limits, giving rise to pollution and diseases. For a solution to this, the central government has prepared a master plan of waste management under the Swachh Bharat mission so that garbage can be used as a resource but not as a problem. However, one will be compelled to think that after all how garbage can be used as a resource. For this, first we have to understand how many types of waste is generated at our homes. Types of Household Waste Organic Waste Organic waste is also biodegradable, that is, wet waste, such as rotten fruit and vegetables, peels and other kitchen waste, animal waste, weeds acquired from fields, and crop residues, etc. Dry Waste Empty plastic bottles, bags, cardboard boxes, paper, old newspapers, glass, metal, and broken wooden items, etc. Household hazardous waste Chemicals used in diapers, napkins, pesticides, toxic chemicals, paints, greases and cleaners, old batteries, etc. Now let us tell you what is the process of segregation of waste. The government has made a plan where different types of garbage coming out of the houses will be divided into three different parts and it will be collected separately. Then it will be used under different processes. They are Methods of Waste Management Wet waste can be used to make biogas and for energy generation. At the same time, dry waste can be recycled and made new goods out of it. Hazardous household waste is made reusable or degradable with the use of chemicals and physical processes so that it does not spread pollution. By doing this, not only will garbage be managed properly, but the people of the country will get freedom from pollution. Waste will create energy, improve the environment and will also help in development. Behind this new initiative, the government has also taken the initiative to strengthen the waste pickers financially. Yes, the government has directed municipalities and cities to include informal waste pickers in their waste management process. This is happening for the first time in the history of the country that the informal sector has been included in waste management through a national policy. There are over 1.5 million informal waste pickers in India. All these people have been given better income opportunities by including them in the waste management system. Along with this, there is also a provision to impose spot fine on people who burn or throw garbage in public places in the cities. In order to make the waste management system more efficient, the government has also made major changes in the infrastructure. Like in the rural and urban areas, green and blue colored dustbins have been installed in public places to throw wet and dry waste. Under the Swachh Bharat mission, Facilities have been made available to collect waste from big dumpsters and transport it to the waste management plant. Not only this, be it villages or cities, awareness campaigns are being run everywhere so that the garbage which people throw here and there considering it as dirt, they adopt it as a resource and manage it properly. It is important that every family starts waste management from their own home if we have the right information then it is very easy to do so. How to do household waste management Keep a separate dustbin in the kitchen, collect kitchen waste in it, such as peels of fruit, vegetables, leftover food, tea leaves, etc. We can use this wet waste to make organic manure, which is very beneficial for our fields and crops. Segregate dry waste such as plastic metal, glass and paper and send different types of waste to recycling centers every week. 
By doing this, we can also earn profit from garbage. There should be a separate dustbins in the bathroom for sanitary waste like diapers, napkins, toilet papers and pads. Such waste can be used as landfill. These three types of waste should be collected separately by the garbage collector and taken to its treatment disposal plant so that different types of waste can be managed at one place. Now you must have understood how useful waste management is for us and somewhere it is also a need for a safe and clean future. So from today, let us also take a pledge that instead of throwing garbage here and there, we will keep it together and fulfill the duty of being a responsible citizen in keeping the country clean. There is a duty for all of us to ensure a clean country. We all need to participate in it in full swing.